hello, 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 how are you? This is Elle's Kimmy from Bemis Crafty Corner. And today we got this little project. Isn't she cute? I think she's cute. All right. So this is a double Z fold pocket. And this might be one of the few things that I say mass make ahead. Okay. We all know how I feel about mass make. Uh, if you mass make tends to, you know, it all looks the same. But with this one, uh, if you just mass make the base in colors, then you can actually design this uh, and decorate it to fit what you're doing. So this one's really super simple. I'm going to get out the supplies real quick here and walk you through this. Quick, easy. You can make multiples of these and just, you know, stack them up and uh, decorate them later. All right. I'll be right back with a supply list. Supplies. Eight and a half by 11 paper. Something to decorate with. Paper trimmer. Scoreboard. Scissors. Scoring tools. Ruler. Adhesive. All right. So, let's do this. I'm going to get out the paper trimmer. And we're going to get started. This one's quick and easy. Be right back. All right. Eight and a half by 11. Cut it in half. Four and a quarter. That's two. Put it on the board. Scoring at a half an inch. At four inches. And at seven and a half. That's it. That's all we're going to do. Let's get this out of the way. Doop. All right. Half inch fold. Fold it back. Okay. And then fold that over. And then that last one, fold the opposite direction. Okay. Make sure we got everything all lined up. Hit it with the bone folder. Okay. Now we're going to open this up. And on the end, that does not have the little flappy. Uh, you can come up anywhere from one and a half to like two and a half inches. I like two. And then I'm just going to take my pencil, put a little quick mark right there. Doink. And then I'm going to put this back in my paper trimmer. And I am going to trim from this the second score line to my mark. Bye. Get rid of that. Now, if you're mask making, there's only one thing left to do, and that is to draw a line right there, use your scissors, cut just below it, and remove the smaller portion of that flap. Okay? That's it. If you're mask making, stop right there. That's it. If you're going to continue on, uh, and by the way, you can do this either way you want. Uh, it just depends on how you fold it. So if you reverse the folds here, it goes in the other direction. See, this is, I'll show you what I mean. Pocket, pocket.
pocket. Pocket. Okay? So it goes either way. All right. So if that's it, you're mass making, stop. Get a stack of these. Put them in your box. Take them out when you need them. Decorate them the way you want and finish them. Okay? If you're not mass making and you just are making one to go into something, then we're going to move on to the next part. So for that, I'm going to get this, the trimmer back out and we're going to cut some mats and I'll be back to show you how to put this thing together. Be right back. All right. So I have a piece of 12 by 12 here. We're going to be ever mindful of the direction and this paper is this way. So I'm going to be cutting a four inch piece across the bottom here. Taking that off. And then I'm going to cut two pieces that are three and a quarter. And this works if you use the uh, two inch uh, angle. Okay. And then I'm going to cut another one that's uh, three and a quarter. But this one, I'm going to turn and cut it down to three inches because I really don't need any. You don't have to do this part if you don't want to, but you know, it's helpful. All right, so there's our pieces. That is all that we have left of that four by 12 inch strip. One of these we can ink all the way. And the other two we're going to have to trim first. So the first thing we're going to do is take the four inch one and we're going to put it right in here. Okay, we're going to go right behind that center piece and we're going to turn it over. We're going to find our middle piece and twice our distance at the bottom. Draw a line. And we're going to do the same thing with this piece, keeping in mind that it's going to go over here. Again, double the, get the width on the sides, double the distance at the bottom, turn it over, draw a line. We're going to trim both of those off and then ink these two pieces as well. bit of ink, little bit of ink, little bit of ink, 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 Big one goes in the back. <laughs> I'm going to use tape just because it makes my life easier here. And there's no stress on this. First one goes in. Adhesive here. bottom. I almost forgot the bottom. I always forget the bottom. A little bit of glue down here at the bottom. Doop. Next one. A little bit of glue at the bottom. A little bit of glue over here on the side. You could gusset this if you want to. Entirely up to you. Adhesive. Yep.
God. That is. There it is. So again, if you're going to mass make these, just take your pieces. Cut them. Get this one. Score them. Again, we're scoring at half an inch. Out four inches. And then at seven and a half inches. Put it to the side. Half an inch. Four inches. Seven and a half. Four inch. Seven and a half. Let's see. We're going to go. I don't know, I'm gonna go about two and a quarter on this one, I think. Put a little mark. Put them on my cutter. Yes, I'm doing all three of them at the same time. three and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take these lay them out and I have a pile of them ready to go when I want to use them okay that's it. That's all I have for you today. Uh, if you want to find out what I got going on, check out the community tab here on the YouTube channel. Go over to the Facebook group. There's all kinds of links in the description box below. Check that out. It's going to give you lists for, you know, all the things that I have coming out, all the things that I have coming up, all of the projects, free classes, things like that. And give me a thumb one way or the other. Still engagement. But thank you so much for coming in. Until I see you again, stay well, my friends. Bye-bye.